mission in the garden. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for there. Five o'clock in the morning, I would say, cat flap unlocks because it's on a timer. Uh, half five, Denise wakes me up. It's Steve, Steve, Steve. And all you could hear was this almighty squawking. Uh, so I jumped out of bed and like, there's Fanglin at the bottom of the stairs with another live magpie in his mouth. Um, so I've, I've raced downstairs, you know, it's, a, it's amazing how quick you wake up sometimes. I raced downstairs, he raced into the kitchen and tried to get under the unit, I grabbed him and he did actually drop the magpie this time and so, <laughs> so but the magpie didn't move, it was like, it was um, lying there still, it was alive, it was blinking and everything but so got uh, Franklin, put him into the living room and managed to get the, the magpie I just wrapped him in a tea towel the first thing I could get my hands on, I wrapped it in a tea towel it was blinking and everything and so I brought it outside, I thought I'm not sure what to do then it seemed to be getting more um, more active in my hands, it was like trying to move and everything and its head was going because that one the other day it seemed to like play dead you know and that was away, that was flying away the one the other day and this one it was like moving so I put it on the on the garden table so we could see from the window like where it is because the grass still needs cutting Um, it was they sort of like came to a bit and it was like bobbing about it was sort of like fluttering from chair to chair and it floated into the long grass, then back onto the table and back onto the chair and things like that. Then, like Denise said later on, she says, I can't see it, it must have gone, you know, I can't see it anywhere. And we'd lock the cats in by then, so they'd been locked in the, in, they changed the lock on the uh, cat flap so they couldn't get out. So, I've come out to a scouting mission, just in case it was hiding, and, like I say, there it is in the long grass, dead. So it it looked worse for wear the, this magpie. So I'm gonna have to dispose of this before I let the cats out. So <sighs> that's the fact I have only literally just woke up for the second time because of my medication last night. So I haven't even had a cup of coffee or anything yet. So this is a good wake up call. Mm. Lovely. Ha! I know you hate seeing yourself on, on the screen, Steve. There you go, look, big close-up. Yeah, so I'm just sat down with my coffee, watching Steve. There you are, Steve. And there you go. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just, just catching up on a few videos and uh, having my coffee until Denise gets home. Yeah, oh, with dandelions and everything. and. Eventually gonna get the grass cut. Hee <laughs> hee. Have a nice garden. Have a nice garden. Yeah. Yeah. You love cutting the grass, don't you? It's like the most pleasurable job ever. <laughs> ever? 
<laughs> no, I can think of things more pleasurable. It's better than ironing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to cut the grass. Uh, caterpillar. Caterpillar. Oh, yeah. Have you can see that. Hmm. <laughs> but, but it's been a while since I've seen something that big wiggling around her. Huh? <laughs> yeah, just been down to Tesco's. Uh, Denise wanted to get a passport photo done, which was <laughs> quite funny in itself and we've got a French loaf but the nice surprise um, at our local Tesco which is a big one it's a uh, Tesco Extra I think it is it's, but it, it used to be the biggest in the country I don't know if it still is or not but um, they've actually opened up Starbucks there uh, have a Starbucks coffee um, cafe uh, you looking for birds no, <laughs> hope I don't find any. <laughs> yeah, but so got myself the, the coffee here. Well, it's nearly cold now, but there you go. It was a nice surprise. Georgia's making us some chilli toasties. <gasps> chilli toasties. She's making making us some because she wants one. Okay. Yeah. Same time. <laughs> so here we have here. Yes, Gary. He's just getting this clean out. There he is. It's just <laughs> yeah. This is Gary, the African land snail. Look how lovely patterns he's making. Yeah. You can see the size of what he is in my hand there. Wait till he comes out. Happy I had that. Oh, he's listening now, isn't he? Yeah. Sure, Sophie, Liam, and Lacey will all be going, eh, but he's actually really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Even Georgia holds Gary. It's a slimy thing. Oh yes, yeah, slimy is a snail, of course. We'll put them under just a lukewarm. Thing. You see, it's so like like there's little showers in the sink when we're cleaning the tank out. I know these are uh, from what I've heard in America. USA these are illegal. I think they're classed as a pest. But um, in the UK they're absolutely fine. You can buy them. Now we've had Gavi since he was a tiny little thing and he's actually, he's grown up to this size so far. So uh, I can't remember how long we've had him. I think I'm sure it's about two years or something we've had him. Yeah, yeah it's roughly about two years. <laughs> so that's Gavi anyway. Part of the furniture, and believe me, he is noisy as well. When he when he goes about his tank, when he's going up the side, it's like his shell scraping against the side of the tank, and in the middle of the night, it makes an absolute racket. Noisy <laughs> furniture. Uh, there you go. Well, there he is. He's all happy. He's trumming away on his cucumber there. No, 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 no. All nice and clean now. Oh, tuna melt. Mm. Stephen Rich, did he see your, your tuna melt in the other video? And you know, I'm going to try that. So we've tried it. Yeah, here it comes. Peace and quiet. Lovely. Peace and quiet. Denise, we got peace and quiet. We. <laughs> <laughs> George is away to her grandma's for the night. So we've got the house to ourselves. What are we doing tonight, darling? 
relaxing. Oh, sorry, you can do it with the heat off. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> relaxing, chillaxing. I can't remember the, the the words for the Fresh Prince. Chilling, whatever it is. <laughs> yes. So, tell you what, that tea was lovely that Denise made. The the tuna melt, or tuna bake, whatever it was. Uh, it was very nice indeed. With some French bread. And done a good job on the garden. Ah, I've got to admit, I helped a little bit, but Denise done most of it, and she's done a really good job. It's looking a lot tidier now than what it was. So yeah, Cause you, you hate sitting outside in a in a messy garden, oh, don't you? Yeah, it's messy. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what we're doing tonight. Uh, I think we're just putting our feet up, enjoy the peace and quiet, and. Do whatever, you know. Watch some tea. Oh, you'd be wondering what your big brother, won't you? Oh, Alright. Uh, do whatever. <laughs> Evening, everybody. Ah, well, had a shave. Oh, nice shave. I feel much tidier. Um, yeah, I've just been watching. Um, a film that came out this year, Area 51. Um, it's a bit like a Blair Witchy type of thing where you know it's all done on camcorders and things like that. Uh, it was okay, you know, it's, uh, it was watchable. Like I said to Denise, if, if I'd gone to the cinema and paid to watch it, I might have been disappointed, but uh, you know, watch it on the TV and didn't cost us anything. Well, it's, uh, it was okay, you know. A uh, bit of a bit of a daft end into it, so it's not one I would probably recommend. So, um, but yeah, we'll watch that, and I've just watched a couple of episodes of Person of Interest there. And uh, Denise is snoring a pretty little head off upstairs. <laughs> uh, so much so, I'm gonna keep turning the TV up so I can hear over the top of it. Well, yeah, she's fast asleep, so she's been up since like six o'clock this morning. Uh, or yesterday morning. So, it's, yeah, got the weekend coming up, and let's hopefully be able to chill out. That's what we're that's what we're hoping anyway. Just a nice chilled weekend. Uh, but yeah, uh, there, there's one other thing I'll be mean to mean to mention. I found another UK vlogger who I've never seen before. Um, Alan Sharkey. He's actually a local local lad in my area uh, in Newcastle, and I recognise his accent straight away. When I was like trying to pinpoint watching his videos whereabouts he was, and seen a couple of them which. Uh, I don't know the, the area now, um, but yeah, he's, he's actually some some similarities from watching them, some similarities in his life to, to my life, it was, it was quite strange, even to the point he's got a partner called Denise, so <laughs> even even down to that, but yeah, it's, uh, to pop across and see him, he's just a normal, normal vlogger. Um, even his young sons, uh, James, has started. That's another similarity. My brother was called James. Um, even, even his young son has started vlogging as well. So, yeah, uh, I put the I put Alan's um, link down below. So then pop across and see him. Uh, tell him I will send you. And he, he tells you about everything he's doing. Um, uh, what's going on in his life things like that and yeah just yeah just pop across and uh, tell me say hi but yeah but i think that's going to be pretty much it i'll get this vlog edited and uploaded and i shall catch up with you all very soon so you all have a lovely weekend and take care everybody 
Bye for now.